Yes, everybody, welcome back to another episode of the United Twins with myself, CM, and my twin bro, Cappy, on the other line. Today, we'll be speaking about Manchester United's victory against Leicester. Blessings to everybody inside, including yourself, Cappy. Come Manchester on. United is free, Leicester nil. And it wasn't a perfect performance by any means, but the latter stages were sweet like tea. But before we get into the breakdown, let's have a bit of fun. Editor. Question of the day. Long story short, if you don't know about this segment of the show, we'll give you the question and you have until the final stages of the episode to find an answer and slap it in the comments. Ready, we'll tell you if you're correct by the end. And let me up that antes because the questions have not been answering recently. First person to put the correct answer in the comments gets a shout out in the next video. So here is today's question of the day in what year did Paul Scholes score that wonder goal against Barcelona in the Champions League to send us through to the final I actually thought we started the game well very positive looked to play forward and threatened but that was extremely short-lived at the time I didn't know what exactly happened after that well I, I do know somewhat but everything fell apart in possession, we continued the reoccurring theme of just forcing situations and cheaply conceding possession in dangerous areas. Mm. Leicester within the first 20 minutes had two clear-cut opportunities that were brilliantly saved by David De Gea. Credit to him, man. Unsung hero settings and the opponents just continued to win back possession and be a direct threat. Something had to change. Luckily enough, in a weird type of way something positive happened and it was us taking the lead through who else but Marcus Rashford who became the first player to score in seven straight games at Old Trafford since Wayne Rooney in 2009-10 first Manchester United player at that the goal was against run of play but we were able to exploit the space in behind of that Leicester defence who were a little too overzealous after giving away possession Lovely ball by Bruno and Rashford does the rest. Diogo Delo had a golden opportunity to double our lead before half time. Once again, it was Bruno Fernandes out on the right wing with a delicious delivery into the area. And Diogo opts to use his right foot as the ball just slices over the top of his boot and out for a goal kick. Lucky. I was thinking at the time, maybe <laughs> if it was the left side foot, the percentage of that being in the back of the net would have been higher, but it is what it is. Overall, we had the advantage at the half, but there were still improvements to be made. Ten Hag said after the game that the team was undisciplined in their principles and rules of the game, and that's how problems arise at the end of the day. To be great, you have to build foundations of consistency, and Manchester United is still working on that as we climb the ladder once more. In the second half, Manchester United improved their performance. Leicester, on the other hand, as time went on, dropped in the level of intensity they played with, especially during that first half when they caused us a lot of problems. Facts. Almost like a lightning bolt zapped every ounce of energy out of the team. We created more chances and added to our lead with two great goals. I, c I cannot understate this, people. Two fantastic goals. Marcus gets his second of the game after just staying on side, played in by Fred, and as he collects the ball from that diagonal run off the left wing, you just knew once again that ball was hitting the back of the net. And VAR held it up for a minute or so. But listen, even, even I thought, I, I thought the goal was going to get called off. Same, but it was just on side. I believe the player was Fives who kept him on. The third and final goal through Jane and Sancho who came off the bench was just top tier football. <laughs> the passes, the movement, Leicester just couldn't keep up. And as Bruno returns the ball into the area where Jaden arrives, the finish wasn't lacking mm -hmm. either. Another great moment, a much better second half to cap off the three points and 
and the clean sheet, which puts David De Gea level with Peter Schmeichel on clean sheets for the club on 108 Liga. Congratulations. I tip my hat off to you, sir. All right. All right. All right. I'm not going to catch you slipping today, but I'm just letting you know you have about, you know, you have, probably have a good minute to get your answers in for Question of the day. That wasn't me. Shut up. So, keep in mind that I've given you this warning now. And when I say roll the clip, in what year did Paul Scholes score that wonder goal against Barcelona in the Champions League to send us through to the final? So, how did everybody fare in this episode's question of the day? Let's waste no time and get the answer on the screen. So, it was in 2008 at Old Trafford when Paul Scholes, in his words, sliced the ball into the top left corner of the goal. Victor Valdez is top left in a flash, by the way. We'd go on to win the game 1-0. It was the second leg of the semi-final. And then we'd go on to win the final on penalties against Chelsea after the game and extra time finished with the score being tied at 1-1. So if you got the answer correct based off of your, your mental memory settings, what? that even makes sense. Supper one in the chat. If you use Google Slapper 2 in the channel, don't be ashamed to use Google. But the thing you should be ashamed of is if you bopped up to the final stages of this episode and you didn't even bother to research, you didn't even try to answer the question. And you know, we've had some complaints over the weeks. This is a relatively up to date question. Well, not up to date, but it's modern ish. So if you didn't even bother to go into the comment section below and slap her arms and you're here right now, you're seeing this right now. It's not looking good breath. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, just be sure to answer the question next time. Yeah, between us, between all of us, one, two, three, the parties are involved. Just answer the question next episode after the Barcelona game. But ladies and gentlemen, be sure to hit a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new. CM will be back for a stay United watch along for the second leg in the Europa League knockout playoff, whatever you want to call it. Come on. Against Barcelona. The score is tied at 2 2. Who is going to be able to go through on, at OT? We will find out and we will speak about it after. So see you then also. But until the next time, ladies and gentlemen, share to your friends and frenemies. We'll see you not sooner!